Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a programmable MIDI controller that is battery powered and has a lot of extra features with it. This is the MIDI Captain by Paint Audio. It's extremely programmable and you can program it to send single commands or multiple commands at once with a single button press. And you have multiple pages for saving different MIDI commands so you can use it with a bunch of different gear. It's powered with either USB power, standard nine volt power, or my personal favorite with just two AA batteries. You can use it in preset mode which will automatically work with popular devices such as HX Stomp or Quad Cortex or Kemper. Or you can get into programming it yourself, which is what I like, in something called Geek Mode. It has an optional wireless MIDI adapter, which pairs with the controller for wireless transmission. It also has an optional expression pedal you can use with it, and you get two different inputs for expression pedals, so you can use two expression pedals at once. You can even customize the wallpaper if you want. But the icing on the cake is that you can actually program it with something called Time Engine, where you can pre-program out all of your MIDI commands to go in sync with your music. It's pretty wild. So you could play along with like a backing track or a click track or something like that, program the sequence that you want the MIDI captain to repeat during your performance and remember all those changes and play it back when you are performing so you don't have to touch the pedals again. Pretty impressive and definitely affordable for all the features that it has with it. I do want to say a huge thank you to Paint Audio for sending this over for me to check out and for sponsoring this video. While it is a sponsored video, all the opinions in this video are my own. I think this is a great MIDI controller, and if I didn't think it was, I wouldn't feature it on the channel. Paint Audio is also kind enough to send me a second one of these. So one of these is going to be a giveaway to one of my subscribers. So be sure to stick around so you can find out how you can win one of these for yourself. So before we get started, I highly recommend that you have a basic understanding of MIDI before we start doing this. If you don't understand MIDI, a lot of the programming isn't going to make sense, although in normal preset mode, you might not actually need to know that. However, I do recommend watching my beginner's guide about understanding MIDI and MIDI commands and MIDI programming. Check out that video first and then come back and watch this video. Before we get started, this is a music tech channel. I do gear reviews, I do tutorials, I do gear giveaways on this channel. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when I put out new videos and hitting the thumbs up button is a free way to support the channel. So I'm gonna go over quite a few topics on this. If there's something specific that you're looking for, be sure to use the timestamps down below. I'm gonna start with like preset mode and then go into the programming after that. So be sure to use those timestamps, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the things that you get with it is that you get obviously the MIDI captain. Also, it includes a couple of cables. You have a five pin to five pin MIDI cable, and also you have a USB cable in order to connect this to your computer. Something really cool about this is that the manual is in this envelope that has a stamp seal with the Paint Audio logo. Pretty cool little touch that they had with that. I like that. Okay, so for power, it can either be powered with USB or with standard 9 volt. However, my favorite way to power this device is over here on the side with two AA batteries. And that's the way that I'm going to be using this for the rest of the video because I love stuff that is portable and doesn't need cables. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and it's going to boot up in this mode first. And it gives you this nice display screen, which is really nice. And this is going to be in kind of what is called preset mode. So you have four buttons on the top, one, two, three, four, and then you have four buttons on the bottom, A, B, C, D, and then up and down. So on this preset, you can scroll down through different presets and scroll up through different presets and push different buttons. You can see that changes one A, one B, one C, but you might notice it doesn't change one D. There are multiple different preset arrangements in here. If you don't really want to program this and you just want it to automatically work with one of the devices that it works with. But what's cool about this is that you can see what every single one of these buttons is doing. So when I push this button, you'll see the little light come on. You'll see that right down here, it says program change zero, program change zero. I push this one since program change one, I push this one since program change two, if I push this one, it'll send CC64 at a value of 127. Pushing button four sends 68, and it toggles between zero and 127 for value. And then pushing these buttons, it sends CC69 at a value of zero, this one CC69 at a value of one, and this one at a value of two. So this is meant to work with the HX stop. There are multiple different options in here for different configurations that you can do, and I'll post them on the screen now. So these are all the different presets that it has that it will automatically work with. However, I am an HX stomp user, so I'm going to connect this to the HX stomp. I'm going to go ahead and connect the MIDI out from the MIDI captain to the MIDI in on the HX stomp. So you can see when I load Preset 1A, 1B, and 1C, it loads those corresponding presets. When I scroll down, 
through the different pages. I'm going to go to 40A, so 40B, 40A, and 40C, and stuff like that. Remember, this is already configured in the MIDI captain to control my HX stomp this way. When I push this button, this is my tap tempo. You would hear the tap tempo of the delay, and I could set that there. This will get to my tuner, turns it on and turns it off. And then these three up here will control the snapshots. Snapshot one, snapshot two, and snapshot three. One, two, and three. So it is already pre-assigned to control my HX stop. A few things I'm gonna show you here as far as just getting this to work properly. You push this button right here, and you have time engine or setup. Push it again, and you can get to setup. So there's a couple of things you can control in here. So the preset, you can push the button in in order to change it. So you can see that going to two will go to bias. You know, going all the way up to 10 will be for the quad cortex and stuff like that. If you do change something, it will reboot. So you have some different controls in here as far as like lighting and stuff like that. If you do plan to use this with the wireless MIDI mate, which I will show you how to do that here in a little bit, so I wouldn't need this cable. I could connect this to the HX stomp just with wireless. You would turn that on there. If you don't plan to use wireless, you could turn that off and save a little bit of battery life, just FYI. So I'll show you that here in a little bit. But just one thing that you want to keep in mind is that the MIDI channel, you want to make sure that that is set properly. My HX stomp reads on MIDI channel four. So if I had this set to MIDI channel one or something like that, the HX stomp would not respond that way. And there is also settings for an expression pedal, which again, I will show you here in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that you had a couple of options there. So that is preset mode. And again, that is just for the HX stomp, but there's all sorts of different presets that the MIDI captain is automatically programmed to control some of your gear. Very cool. Okay, so that's fun and all. However, I like being able to program my MIDI controllers and have full control over what I'm going to be sending. So the way to do that is I'm gonna turn that off and then you either hold two or three. I'm gonna hold three and power it up. And you can see it says geek mode and has a pretty cool little matrix screen by it, which I actually really like. So now this is in geek mode, which means you can program this to do whatever you want. You do have a couple of different pages. So you can see using these page up and down buttons, I can get to different pages. So I have 16 different pages that I can program different commands in here, which is pretty awesome. So let's just say I want to control this one. So you can, again, you can still see what it's sending. It's sending program change zero. This one sends program change one. This one sends program change two. This one sends program change three. This one is sending a control change and a note command. You get program change, control change, and note commands. You can see what this one is doing what this one is doing and what this one is doing. However, if I want to edit this, I'm gonna push the button that I want to change the parameters and I'm just gonna push this button right here. And now this gets you into the geek mode. So first of all, what you can do is you can scroll through here and you can do all the different options. So this menu right here, these first six that you have, these are what commands are going to be sent when you push down on the controller. And then these six down here at the bottom are the commands that will be sent when you release from the button. So first of all, I can set this to be a specific channel. So let's go ahead and set this to MIDI channel four. What kind of command do I want to send? Do I want to send up? Do I want to send down? So it scrolls page down. I don't really want to do that. I want my down up to be over here. Do I want to send a program change, a control change, or a note command? So in this one, I'm going to send a program change. And what program change do I want to send? Zero through 127. So let's just say seven. I also, at the same time, want to send on MIDI channel three, I want to send a controller change, controller change 100. What value do I want that controller change to be at? Zero to 127. Let's do 127. And then this last one, it gives you this option. You see this T? That means it's going to toggle. So that means it will send CC 100 at a value of zero on the first press. And then the next press, it'll send it at 127. I actually want that. And then let's just do one more on MIDI channel two. And let's say I want to send F sharp zero. And what is the value of that? I'm going to send it at 127 as well. And then I can scroll down here and say on a release. So when I release it, I want to send on MIDI channel four, let's just say a program change of five. I'm just kind of just randomly programming this. So now when I get out of here, now that's saved. So now when I push this button, you can see all the things that it said. So when I push down, it sent all the commands that I told it to send, program change seven, control change 100, and note F sharp zero. When I release it, it sends 
Program change five. See how customizable this is? So with one button press, I can control multiple different devices with MIDI. Say I had my HX stomp receiving on MIDI channel four, my vocal effects receive on MIDI channel three, and then my keyboard receives on MIDI channel two. One button press will send commands to all of those devices. Pretty incredible how customizable this is. And again, you get six commands on a down press and six commands on a release per button. It's a ton of flexibility. So again, I can go to this one and I can do the same thing. I would start programming everything in here. A couple other things that you get up here. So these are for the expression pedal. What CC commands do you want the expression pedal to send? And I'll show you that here in a little bit. You do have a way to control the wireless. Again, that's if you use the MIDI mate, which again, I will show you here in a little bit. This one right here is pretty cool. It changes the color of the button. So you can program the color of the button that you want it to be. There's 20 different options or 22 different options. So you can set the color to be what you would like it to be. So this one right here is really interesting. This will charge the batteries if you have the right type of rechargeable batteries if you are also using 9 volt or USB power. Pretty interesting. I actually had to email them to ask about this and this is what they said. So pause the screen if you want to find out more. And that is geek mode. So that is the mode that I'm probably going to use the most because this is very programmable and you can program it to do what you want. And it is also awesome that it is all programmable from the device itself. You don't need an app or software. You go in here and you program it to do what you want it to do. Pretty incredible. Okay, so for the wireless MIDI mate, so you have to purchase this separately. I do recommend getting it. It's pretty cool to have. Just like the MIDI captain, the manual is in an envelope with the seal of approval, which is a nice touch. So this is the MIDI mate right here. It has an optional 3.5 millimeter input here on the side if you need it, and the on switch right here. Here's a TRS 3.5 millimeter to five pin cable in case if you need it, which is awesome. They included that. And also you have this USB to USB C cable, which is used to connect to your computer, which is really important because this is how you actually actually set up the ID. So when you connect it, it's going to load up as the MIDI mate. And then you go to setup.txt and see this bracket right here, wireless ID, you change that to whatever ID you want. So I can set it to four or six or whatever. I have mine set to eight. So this is important because you're going to set the MIDI captain to send to wireless ID eight, which also means that you can connect multiple of these together. So multiple bandmates or multiple pieces of gear. So you can use multiple of these all at once, which is pretty Pretty cool. So yeah, make sure you connect to it and set the wireless ID properly. Mine is set to eight. So for the MIDI mate, so you're going to turn this on and you're going to see like a little blue light light up up here. So now this is going to go wirelessly from the MIDI captain into the HX stomp. So I'm going to plug this into the MIDI in on my HX stomp. So you can see it's already working. So I've already been messing around with this and it's already been programmed, but let's say, you know, I wanted to go to here, to this button right here, you can see it's not doing anything. And the reason why is because I have it sending out on MIDI channel one. Remember my HX stomp reads on MIDI channel four. So I need to change that to output on MIDI channel four. But the MIDI mate just operates like a cable, just like we did at the beginning, but now it's wireless, which is awesome. Go through my different presets here wirelessly. It transmits wireless from this to the HX stomp. There is something that you do want to keep in mind is that remember I have this program to MIDI mate ID eight. If I change this to, you know, six or something like that, now it is no longer working because I don't have it sending to the correct one. But if I set this back to eight, go back, and now it is sending correctly. So if it isn't working and you're using it, it is probably because one, the HX stomp, I have programmed to read on MIDI channel four. So make sure that all your commands are sending out on MIDI channel four. And also this is set to read on wireless eight. Make sure this up here is set to read on eight. Keep that in mind. So this is that's in geek mode. That's how you program it in geek mode. What if you want to program it in that preset mode? So I'm going to turn this off. And to get back to preset mode, you just hold down the A, button while you turn it back on. Number two or three opens geek mode. This one loads in preset mode. So you're going to push the button, go to setup, and you're going to scroll down. You make sure that the wireless is on and you set the wireless ID to the same ID. If this was set to seven or something like that, it wouldn't work. And you also want to set the MIDI channel. So those are the three things that you want to make sure that you have set. So that's how you do that in the preset mode. And you can see that it is changing everything that I need it to change on the HX stomp wirelessly. That's really cool that I don't even need a wireless transmitter out of the MIDI captain. It's all built into the MIDI captain to connect to this. Very, very cool.
Okay, and the MIDI Captain also has two separate inputs for expression pedal. So they do sell a specific expression pedal with it. I don't have that one. I do recommend that if you are going to use an expression pedal to get the one that works with the MIDI Captain. But you can see that it's already, it just automatically worked and you can see the bar moving up and down on the screen. And it sends CC1 and that's what it's set to program in this mode. If I want to change that, I can go to the settings. So expression pedal one, or if I wanted to program expression pedal two, cause you get two expression pedals, but I want it to send, you know, let's say CC, I don't know, 100 or something like that. Now go back and now you can see when I move it, it sends MIDI CC command 100 from zero all the way up to 127. Very easy to program. You can do the same thing on expression pedal two. If you wanted to do this in geek mode, I'm gonna reboot in geek mode. So in geek mode, these two icons up here in the upper right will set the CC value for each of the expression pedals. So this one will be for expression pedal one, and this one will be for expression pedal two. As of right now, that just sets it globally. It doesn't change per page, just so you know. And that's how you program an expression pedal. Again, I do recommend getting their specific expression pedal and purchase links will be down below in the description. Okay, now for the time engine. This is pretty wild. So you can set it so that it records all the button presses so you just have to push one button and it will remember all of the button presses that you did crazy so push this button instead of going to setup you're going to go to time engine and you just want to make sure that time engine is set to on it's set to off by default so set it to on and now what happens is this button is used to record and this is play and stop so watch what happens here this is really crazy so i'm going to push play on a backing track that i have i do have a video walking you through my entire backing track process if you're interested in that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the track and then i'm going to record a bunch of different button changes that'll happen right on the beat this has a click track so you'll be able to hear that it's on the beat so watch this 3 a.m guitar we hit record ready. Go. Record. Switch to B. Again. Switch to C. Switch back to B. All in. Then I'm going to load some snapshots. Snapshot three. Snapshot two. Snapshot one. Load the tuner. Disable the tuner. Go back to C. And then I'm going to hit. I'm done recording. Right? So now, next time that I play through, what I'm going to do is so remember, I, I did it on the downbeat and I hit play. And then as soon as I want the time engine to start, I'm going to push the start button and watch what happens. Guitar riff ready go. and start the time engine. It's doing all of the Again. changes on the beat that I wanted it, all, all the changes that I wanted it to do. Go. Watch the buttons will change up there because that's what I programmed it to do. It's going to load the tuner next. Disable Verse the tuner. One. And then go back to C. Is that insane? That's really incredible that you can also program your own commands and then you just have to push one button and it remembers all of your MIDI changes. That's insane. That's really cool. So you can set that to loop, to repeat continuously if you want. And you also have 10 different time engines that you can save. That's what time track number is. So you can save 10 different scenes of those time engines that we just programmed. Pretty awesome. That's really cool. Okay, and then last but not least, you have USB geek mode. Some of you might like this. I personally just like regular geek mode personally, but if you hold down one while it boots up, it's going to go into geek mode USB setup. And now you can connect it to your computer via the USB port, and it gives you all sorts of different options on programming this thing with your computer. So now it loads up on your computer and you can just double click it and get access to all of the stuff in here. You can do stuff like change the wallpaper if you want, which is really cool. That's a pretty awesome feature. You can go here to the setup folder and on the different pages in normal preset mode, you can set some of the global commands in here. So, and it even says don't change anything other than what's inside the brackets because otherwise that'll screw it up. So it might be a good idea to make a backup copy if you are going to do this just in case you screw something up but let's say for the wallpaper instead of having wallpaper 12 i want it to be wallpaper 11 i can do that i can change you know the wireless to be off and stuff like that again you just get a little bit more control in here i personally will just stick with using regular geek mode but i wanted to make sure you guys knew that this was an option here although it is pretty cool that you can change the wallpaper that's pretty awesome okay as far as pricing i'll leave links to all of these down below so to get the midi captain it's 170 dollars they do have the standard one the black 
black one, and that one does not include the option for wireless. So if you don't want that, you can save a little bit of money. You can get it with the MIDI Mate currently for 185, so just a little bit more in order to get that MIDI Mate. I do recommend that. You can get the MIDI Captain with the foot controller, the expression pedal for about 210, or there's a pack with all three, the MIDI Captain, the MIDI Mate, and the expression pedal for about 250. If you do want to purchase the MIDI Mate by itself, it's about 40, and the expression pedal is about 68. Again, purchase links to all of that will be down below in the description so you can get the one that you want. Okay, so there you go. So this thing is awesome. It's very affordable and the programmability about it is what I love. The fact that it's battery powered, runs off of two AA batteries is fantastic. And I love that you can just program it all on the device itself. You don't need an app or a computer or anything to program it. That's really, really cool. I think there's only two things that I wish that it had is that one, I wish that the time engine was available in geek mode. As of shooting, it is only available in the preset normal mode. I did email them about that and they did say that they are working on making that an update and this thing is very updatable. So hopefully in a future update, you will be able to use the time engine in geek mode. They did say that they are constantly working on updates with this product, so they're always going to be updating it with new and cool features, which is also great to hear. And the other thing that I wish that it had, it had built-in Bluetooth, so you could just connect it to like an iPad or something like that. It works great with the MIDI Mate, but there's no way to connect it via Bluetooth. However, it does work well with the Witty Jack and the Witty Master. Those are both ways to turn five pin MIDI into Bluetooth MIDI. So check out both of my videos and reviews on those products if you are interested in using it with your iPad or something like that. Overall, it's a fantastic design. It's very well thought out and I'm very glad to have this in my arsenal. So again, many thanks to Paint Audio for sending this over. But like I said, I did get sent over a second one in order to do a giveaway to one of my subscribers. So one of you is gonna win this MIDI controller for yourself. So the way to enter, there's two things. One, you have to be a subscriber. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. And then two, you have to leave a comment down below. You can say whatever you want in the comment section. Just at some point, you have to say the magic phrase. And the magic phrase for this one is five guys has the best burgers because they do. So you have to use that magic phrase down in the comments down below at some point in the comment section. I will do the drawing on this date right here. Please do not respond to scammers. I will never, ever, 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 ever ask you for money, not for shipping, not for oversized equipment shipping, never period. I will never ask you for money. The way you know that it's me responding is that there will be a gray circle behind my name. Please don't respond to scammers unless if you know that they're scammers and you want to mess with them, I'm never going to discourage you from wasting scammers time, but I will never ask you for money, period. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these, purchase links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys again for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm and I would appreciate it. So be sure to check out my video on the Witty Master, the wireless MIDI system. And also I just did a review on a MIDI splitter and router system. So if you are using multiple MIDI devices at once, with this MIDI captain. It's definitely worth looking into this device. You can check out both of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Scott Yule Music. If you have any other cool gear you want me to check out, please leave them in a comment down below. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.